Hey, hey folks, it's been a minute. We have not shot any practice table games here in quite a while. It's, what is it, Monday, Tuesday, October 19th. Time for some practice. Been a minute. Like I said, let's get this party started, guys. I am going to have to start with my traditional buy-in. Let's clean up the table. It's funny, whenever I walk by this thing, I have to grab the dice and throw couple numbers and just see what happens even if I'm just heading out the door but haven't been to the casino in a little bit had a lot going on the last couple weeks a friend of mine good lady friend is moving I'm helping her been doing all kinds of other stuff got work all kinds of stuff going on just you name it busy time right now getting a little chilly here in the Pacific Northwest garage craps Gonna require some sleeves. You see what I'm saying? You gotta keep the sleeves on. That definitely changes my my uh, toss because I'm pretty good with short sleeves. Long sleeves is a little different. I don't like having anything bothering my arms. Plus, I just got fitted for my new prescription lenses. So once I get the gradient lenses, I think I'll be able to see my landing zone a little better. Right now, it feels a little difficult to see all the way down the table. Uh, my, my field of vision with the readers that I have is really messed up. But that's from years and years of working on computers. All right. My felt needs to be cleaned really bad. A lot of debris, and I don't have a decent brush. All right. Let's play. Let's go $10 table tonight. Uh, 10 on the line. $620 buy-in. Like usual, stack of green, stack of red, stack of white. Uh, I'm going to play the all tall small for uh, five bucks total of one on the tall and the small and three on the all. And I play that up here in the middle because I don't have spots for it. I shouldn't need to tell you that. If you guys have been following my channel, you know how I do it. We use these little clear markers and slide those down on each number because I don't have markers up top. Even though I don't play fire bet, I will use the colored markers with red, purple, blue, and black for the six fire bet numbers. And I always mark the uh, horn numbers for the tall, small, and all down here. My roll count is going to be marked on the white numbers of the horn high as well as the hop bets. So as I catch a number I'll mark it topside which lets me keep track of my patterns all right come out roll uh, I'm gonna not protect on this one and I'm just gonna do 10 on the line with no crap check what set should we use I think I'm gonna do my modified 3v that's gonna be six and two facing Instead of 3-3 three, three on top, I'm going to roll one of the die in, and it's going to have 5-3 on top and 4-2 on the bottom. So this is a modified 6-8 set. It's a variation on the 3-V that uh, prevents a 7 on a double pitch. So let's see what we can do. Find a soft spot on the dice. It feels good on the fingers. Dial in your grip. Look for your landing zone and let them fly. Coming out. All right, we got a four. That's a three and a one. Four is the point. Let's mark it up, see what we get. And we'll mark the three one right up here. All right, four is the point, and let's see what we can get. Now, for me to roll a four, I like to do the three one, two one set which puts 3-1 on top and 2-1 on the front. My first roll out the gate I'm gonna drop another I'm gonna put 10 out here for the come bet and see what happens here we're protecting the line bet if I happen to throw a 7 on the first roll and dollar crap check just because why not dollar crap why did I not protect my come out roll? Good question. I don't know. But here we go. Point is four. Let's see if we can bring back the four right away. We'll take odds on the next roll. And there's a 10, hard 10, 55. 
sister number to the four. Ten hard. Fifty-five. All right. Oh, shit. That was not supposed to happen. Clumsy tonight, guys. One, three, one is set back up. Okay, come bet travels to the ten. I think I will take... Just 10 odds on that for now. And let's load up the inside numbers. Let's go uh, 44 inside. So, 10, 20, 30, 40. 44 inside. Oops, hello. I don't have a dealer tonight, so I have to deal my own damn game. I think I overdid that by one. I did, huh? Yep. Okay, 44 inside. Uh, let's take 10 odds on the pass line. And screw it. Let's cover all the hard ways for a buck each. Why not? Just because. All right. Looking for the four. Total action right now. We got 54, 64, 84. Hold on. 44. 54, 64. $88 in action total right now. So, better be able to keep him in play, Craig. God damn it. Here we go. Looking for the four. And there's a nine, five, four on the nine. Mark that nine up here. Five, four. Uh, got 10 on it. We get paid 14. Hard nine falls. Put that. We'll rack that for this one. We'll press it next time. All right. Same thing. We're going to stick with the 3 1 2 1 set. See if we can bring back that four. And there's a 10. 10 came easy. 6 4. Comeback gets paid. Bring the come bet down and we'll pay it down here. Double odds. Place the 10 back for 10 bucks. Hard 10 falls with the call. Replace the hard 10 for a dollar. And mark the easy 10. All right, still shooting for that four, guys. So far, that's all we've rolled is 10s and fours. How about that? Oh, we got the 9. I forgot. One 9 right there. Mark the 9 for the bonus. Thanks for reminding me. You guys are worthless. You're supposed to remind me when I do that. All right, same one. We got the 3 1 2 1 set going here. Where's that 4? There's a 10 again. 6 4 for the 10. Easy 10. Hard 10 falls. We got 10 on it. 10 pays. 18. There's 15, 3 change, hard 10 back for 1, mark that 6, 4 again, uh, press it, what do you think guys, should we press it, uh, let's leave it, we'll, we'll, get, we'll press it next time, alright, still looking for the 4, we're throwing sister numbers, so that means there's something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there. <laughs> Being a little goofy, fellas. All right, here we go. Come on, where's that four? Three, one. Hard four. Boom, there it is. What's up, guys? Hard four. Frontline winner on the hard four. Bring that down. Pay out that hard four first. Ten up front. 20 behind. Hard four. Got a dollar on it. Uh, let's do this. Let's take three change. And we're going to press all those hard ways a buck. And hard four gets marked up there. Coming out roll. Let's move this over. We're off. Uh, 
How we doing? Coming out. Here we go. Let's go back to the 3V set modified again. That was a good starter. All right. 3V modified. Here we go. Coming out. And they go. Ooh, they dropped in weird. Is that an ace deuce? I can't tell. Oh, hard four right back. Bam. So we, uh, my hard ways were off. They're always off on the come out, guys. So either way, hard four. Get the marker back up here. Put another dot on the hard four. I never work my hard ways on the come out. That's okay. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go ahead and kick my odds up to a quarter on that. We'll just use red though so we don't have to tap into our greens just yet. And uh, so far we hit only outside numbers. To get that four back, I need to go three one on top and uh, two one on the back. So that's what I'm doing. Sorry, two one on front facing. Three one, two one. Here we go. Bring back that four. Where is it? Three one. <laughs> three one. There it is. You can't make this shit up, guys. Three one, two one. Look at that primary face hit. I'm gonna bring those in the exact way they hit down there. Those bounced off the wall just like that. That was my set. Yeah. Dice influence isn't real. It's not. It's it's a myth, okay? Hard uh, frontline winner. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take 50 in back for 25, right? We got 25 there. And 10 up front. As a hard four, that was an easy four. So, this falls, which is fine. Let's mark that. That's the third hard four we rolled. Uh, this dollar falls over here. I'm going to replace that with two bucks. So, that'll come back. And we're off. Okay. Haven't hit any inside numbers yet at all except, well, I guess the nine. You can kind of count the nine as an inside number. All right. Ten is the line. Uh, should we start with that set on the come out? No, we're not going to do it. We're going to do the modified 3V again because that's what's working for me right now. We're going to take the 6-2 facing and we're going to flip that 3 over. Grab the sweet spot on the dice. Coming out. And there's a nine. Six, three. Point is nine. Six, three. Hard nine. Okay, so this needs to move over to the four. And we're going to mark the six, three up here. This is a weird set, guys. Uh, I'm not, not really sure what to say about it. Working fine, though. I'm not going to complain. All right. Uh, odds on the 9. I'll go 20. Because every 20 pays you 30. I like that. We'll bump it up uh, if we get some other inside numbers. So to hit a 9, I'm not even going to work with it. I'm, I'm going to actually go to uh, my 6-8 set to try and hit some inside numbers here with the 6s in the middle. We're going to have... Uh, five, three, five, three, four, two, four, two, and see what we can do. Let's just work it. Working on the nine. Here we go. And there is an eight. Primary face hit. Look at that, guys. Primary face. We got the six, three, or actually five, three, and they rolled on me, so I'm not a very good stick man. Eight has a... Uh, well, one it pays 14. Let's press that up immediately. Uh, do 15 for one on that. And that was the 5 3. Heart 8 falls with the call. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take that to 30. And go like that. Bring it up to 30. And then we'll bring the heart 8 back for two. Let's keep rolling and see what we can get here. Uh, I'm going to go back to my same set. We're going to use eight sixes and eights with four two and six three. Even though the point is nine, oh, I know I got to mark the eight for the tall small. Oh, and my points so far, I've had a four as the point, right? And I've made point on four, and I've made, I've already made. Uh, 
God, did I have another? I think four has only been my point twice. That's right. We haven't made a nine as the point yet. This nine was a come bet or a place bet that hit. So, all right. So far, four has only been our point. Here we go. Six, three. Come on. All right. There's an eight. That's a six, two. Six, two, eight. Easy eight. Part eight falls. Back up for two bucks. Mark the six, two. And we got uh, $30 on the eight, so that pays 35. Okay, and we'll take and rack that. We'll we'll press it on the next uh, the next roll. Stick out of the way. Shooting for the nine. Uh, I'm gonna stick with my same set. So far, it's been pretty rewarding here. Sixes are kissing. Four two on the bottom. Five three on the back. Where's he at? Nine. There's another eight. Six, two, eight. This time we'll go full press. Let's take 30 and go make that 60. And then we'll take five because it was a $35 payout. The hard eight fell. I'm just going to take the hard eight to a nickel. There's no sense in when we got 60 on it up there. We may as well replace it with a nickel. Uh, and it was an easy eight. Uh, it was a six, two. So. That's another six second six two up there. And let's see what we can make happen. Uh, so far, so good. We're going to do our sixes in the middle, sixes and eights. Here we go. Still looking for that nine. But I'll take sixes and eights all day long. And there's a nine. There it is. Five, four, nine. Bring those bad boys down so you guys can see them. Point is made. Drop the nine down. What do we got? We got ten on the line up front. Uh, Twenty page of thirty in the back. So I'll take a green and a red. Stack all that up. Nine came five four that time. All right. So let's mark the five four. It's the second time we rolled a five four. Came six three. Coming out roll. Bets are off. Hardways are off. Ten is the line. Uh, let's change the setup and we'll go to fives and nines on that. We're going to go five, four, and three, two and see what that does. Here we go. And that brought a six for a five, one. Point of six. Six is the point. Easy six. We'll bring that down. Or are we going to move that? That, let's make that a... I'm going to make that a quarter on the nine. I'm just going to take it to a quarter. And we'll leave... Uh, we'll bring back the $12 bet in the in the braille here. Uh, six is pretty easy to make. We haven't hit it yet, but with the modified set, it might come out. You know, I think I'm going to go... Let's go a quarter on the, on the odds. I'm going to mark the six... So far, we haven't hit a single horn number, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to use the five and nine set again and see if I can bring that six right back with that set. I don't know why, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, there's a nine with a six, three, nine. Nine came six, three. Uh, we got a quarter on it, so that pays 35. 25 pays 35. Let's press it to, uh, you know, let's actually, let's, let's take the 10 and rack it. We'll take the 10 off the five and make that a quarter. Haven't hit a five yet. And then we need to mark the, uh, six, three up here. Four nines so far, no fives yet. Stick with the same situation, uh, using that same set. I'm going to go fives and nines. It's uh, three, two, and five, four, with the sixes touching in the middle. All right. Hard 12 in the middle, and we're looking for the six. Weird bounce. We got a 10. That's a six, four, easy 10. 
I got 10 bucks on it. Let's go ahead and buy that bad boy. Take it to a quarter for the buy. So we got 18 coming. Okay. Uh, we can do the buy. We'll cut a dollar out for the buy. Pull down the 10 bucks here. Stack that. Make it a quarter. That is bought, so we'll slide that on in. And that leaves two change. So what we got to do is we got to mark that easy 10 up top. And then this two bucks is going to take the hard 10 that fell and re-bet it, re uh, re it two bucks again. And we are off to the races, folks. How we doing? Can't be possible. This guy sucks. All right. Looking for the six. Looking for the six. What can we do? And there's an eight. Easy eight. Six, three. No, five, actually, that's five, three. My bad. Right there. Five, three. So we got 60 on it. 60 pays 70. I'm going to go 75 for five. Drop five bucks down over here. And then the hard eight fell. So I'm going to drop another nickel out there to replace that. Uh, while we're doing things here, I just screwed up my, my stack. I, I got under 20 here. All right, there we go. Let's bring those up front. Uh, roll count marker. Let's get another nickel on the, or a dollar on the 5-3 there. Pick up the winnings over there. Looking good so far. Uh, still shooting. What do you think, guys? Should we regress? Pretty good roll so far. Keep it going or regress? What do you think? Yeah, keep it going. I read your mind. I don't even know, but I'm, I'm hearing it. I'm, I'm hearing it subliminally. Something tells me to go back to my 6-8 set. It was doing well for me. All right, here we go. See if we can get a hard 8. Oh, 7 out. Should have regressed. Look at that. 7 out with a 6-1. All right, so let's do this. Let's pull back and see what we stranded. We got 25, 50, 100. And that's 110. Uh, 125, 130, 145 there. Here. 150, 60, 70, 180. Stranded there. 185. 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 191 stranded. Now, roll count. I don't ever count the $5 that I bet on the bonus as part of my stranded money. The roll count, we had no horn numbers at all. We did not hit a 5. I had 3 hard 4s, a hard 10. Easy 4. 4 rolled 4 times. 10 rolled 4 times. 9 rolled 4 times, and 8 rolled 4 times. Roll count of 21. The 21 is when the 6-1 came right there. So, uh, I, I'm going to bring the camera over, but we also got to count out the bank and see if we made any money that roll. Even though that was stranded money, let's set that aside so it doesn't get mixed up. That was the, the what was stranded in betting. It was 100, what did we say, 108, 191? 150, 60, 70, 80, 85, 91, yeah. 191 stranded, including the hard ways. And let's do that. Let's cash out and see what we got here. That's more than 500. I think that's five. Let's see how we did here. 300, 400, 500. I hope I missed it by one. That's 75. Nope. Full stacks. So 600 there. Okay, and then let's stack that back up. Because this is like real, guys. I'm not a dealer, so I have to pretend I'm one when I'm on my own table. I do not know much about how the dealers do it, man. Those guys, 
I tell you what, you gotta hand it to them. Always tip your damn dealers. Because you know what? They deserve it. They deserve every last time. I'm gonna see if I can get an exact stack of 100 there. That's too much. By 20, those are the same. How'd we do? Another stack there? Not quite. Yeah. Not stack. Not bad. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight hundred. Five, eight, ten, eight, eleven. Okay, six hundred twenty buy in, eight, eleven color up. Uh, the roll count, like I said, I'll bring the camera and we'll look at it. There's the roll count right there. Four threes, three of them hard ways. Four tens, three of them easy, one hard. A single seven. We got uh, four eights and four nines. So as far as I count, that's what do we got? Four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, seventeen. Seventeen was the roll count, including the seven out. And we never got close. We never rolled a five and never rolled any horn numbers. And that's 26 minutes, guys. Not a bad profit. I'll take the 200 bucks. There you go. Good dice influence right till the end. Kind of went wonky on us. See you next time. Please like and share the video. I'll see you guys on Facebook. If you want to see one of our local groups up here in Western Washington, it's called Crops in Washington State Travel Casinos. For those of you that are finding this video elsewhere, thanks for watching. Peace out.